You know, today is the beginning of the last three days of our Lenten journey. In fact, earlier tonight, we had our Holy Thursday service, and we experienced Holy Communion. We asked forgiveness for our sins. We, we sought healing. But we begin to see the darkness of this week begin to unfold. Tomorrow night, in our Good Friday service, we will really experience the darkness as we look again in depth at this suffering struggle, the death and crucifixion. And then Sunday morning, 6.30 a.m., we will meet outside the sanctuary. Like those early followers, the first day of the week after the crucifixion when they went to the tomb of Jesus. We'll meet outside and we will come into this sacred space, the sanctuary, and well, we will see what we find at that point. After that, we will have breakfast together. Now, if the news that we learned in that sunrise service is good news, then we're gonna gather back here for worship at nine o'clock and 11 o'clock. At nine o'clock in our traditional worship service, we're gonna be singing one of the Charles Wesley hymns. One of my favorite, in fact, it's one of my top five favorite hymns in our hymnal. And it's a hymn that this Sunday morning, not just Methodist, but Christians of every denomination around the world are gonna sing this wonderful Charles Wesley hymn. We're gonna sing the same hymn again in our modern worship at 11 o'clock. I will sing it a little bit different, a little different tune to it, but it's the same marvelous hymn. We're also gonna see a video clip in that worship service from C.S. Lewis's uh, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. And we have some new members joining our church Sunday morning, along with baptisms. You wanna be here and you'll wanna be part of that. I really hope that these last few days of Lent or a time when you search your own life, your own soul. Let the Holy Spirit examine you fresh again and see where your journey leads you this coming Sunday morning. We will be experiencing going into the darkness this weekend. That can be a frightening be a frightening time.